Hi everyone, welcome to 4528. This is a 3.0 course and it's called Integrated Nursing Science Theory. We are the summer of 2022. Note sections A and B will utilize the same E-class site and this is the E-class site right here. The co-requisite to this course is 9.0 4527. So the course description is it synthesizes previous knowledge to help students articulate a framework for professional and clinical practice and apply this framework to an intensive practice experience in a traditional or non-traditional nursing setting. So it's equivalent to 36 hours. So basically, this is the theory part of your integrated practicum, and you're going to take that theory and use it and apply it in your integrated practicum site. Note that students must successfully complete both 4527 and 4528 concurrently in order to be recognized with a passing grade or credit in either course. There are two professors teaching this course. Section A will be Professor Irfan Aslam, and Section N is myself, uh, Professor Sandra Peniston. And so organization of this course. And so again, it's a co-requisite course, and it supports the clinical practicum by providing a number of activities. This final terms course consists, again, of Nursing 4527, which is a 9.0, and Nursing 4528, which is a 3.0. The aim of this student experience is to integrate practice knowledge and theory. Therefore, these courses are presented and enacted concurrently. This course supports the integration of learning from all your nursing courses and allows you to engage in deliberate practices guided by a nursing theory of your choice. So this course is remotely delivered and involves asynchronous learning. So there will be no in-class sessions and there will be no specific modules that you have to do each week. And it's based on preparing you to write the NCLEX. And so you are going to be using EAQ products. You're going to be developed a, a, HESI, sorry, a HESI study plan and study plan journal. And you're also going to be taking place in in-person, on-campus exams. One is called the HESI Entrance, one is called the HESI Exit Exam, and the third one is the Computer Adaptive Test. Right now we have no out-of-bound students. Um, an out-of-bound student will be a student that's doing their practicum placement um, outside of Ontario. These are your course objectives, so um, please review these course objectives. These are the links to the CNO Entry to Practice Competencies, and it links to all the practice competencies. These are the specific links to the NCLEX categories and subcategories, and it actually includes all the categories and subcategories. If you're looking for more information on the NCLEX, it can be found at the CNO website. So again, um, E-Class, um, you will be going to E-Class, and again, this course, 4528, is combined with 4527, and there's two sections, a section A and a section B. So the course evaluation and evidences of learning. So pr to prepare you as students to write the CNO um, NCLEX exam and the jurisprudence exams, students will be required to complete two scheduled HESI exams and a computer adaptive test during uh, designated scheduled times and dates. And I will uh, move into those dates and times. The other piece is that it's expected that students will um, access the necessary legislation and current evidence-based reviews and practice guidelines to enhance their practice. And this will be important for taking the uh, jurisprudence examination. 
There are no specific uh, course materials for this course. You can use any of your text or course materials or resources that you've used in your undergraduate nursing studies to facilitate and integrate your knowledge. Um, these are the typical technical requirements that you will need, the ability to be able to use Zoom, um, the ability to access eClass. This is actually really important. This is um, the EAQ that you can use this term, and this is your specific uh, course code. So we are summer 2022, and when you go into your Elsevier site to make sure that you're actually looking for this specific uh, course code, so Elsevier Adaptive Quizzing for the NCLEX RN exam, Nurse 4528, summer 2022. And this is a great resource for when you're studying for the HESIs and for the CAT exam. In addition, students will also have access to the Hesse Saunders online review. You will receive an individual access code via email, and it will be emailed um, during the third week of the semester. And again, this is a great tool to use for your Hesse studying and also for your CAT exam. Below here are the recommended websites that may be useful when you are studying for your Jurance Prudence and also for any information that you need about the NCLEX RN exam. So moving into the important dates, as we said um, in the previous lecture in 4527, orientation is May 9th. Your on-campus clinical dates will be one of these dates and you will be writing your drug, your medication calculation quiz or your drug dosage calculation quiz um, on that date, and there will be a sign up. Your first exam for your HESI, your HESI entrance exam is May 26, and this is not negotiable. And so please make sure that you are not in clinical this day. If you have accommodation, you need to email this uh, Shandana at this email address for a date and time about writing the accommodation. This is the summer reading week. You don't have to work during uh, summer reading week, but some students find that if they've taken a day or so off to study that they find that they need to use their summer reading week to make up extra shifts. Your second exam is the HESI exit exam, and it will be June 28th. Again, it's not negotiable. Make sure you're not uh, working a night shift the night before or a day shift. Again, if you require accommodation, make sure you've emailed Shandana. And then the CAT exam, this will be scheduled during the, or this is scheduled during the exam period, August 16th. Again, it's not negotiable. And if you require accommodation, uh, make sure you notify Shandana. The last date to drop this course without receiving a grade is July 8th. Uh, any accommodation letters and religious accommodations must be communicated to the respective course director by May the 9th at 2359. If you are applying for accommodation but do not yet have a letter, Notify the CD of the date and time of appointment with the Student Accessibility Services by the May 9th deadline. So just going through the evidences of learning again, May 26th is your entrance exam. It's worth 15% of your grade. On Friday, June the 17th, by midnight, you will be submitting your study plan. This will be worth 25%. This is different than your learning plan, which you will be submitting to your CCD. June 28th is your second exam, and it's your exit exam, and it's worth 20% of your mark. Friday, August the 5th, by midnight, your study plan, journal, and summary is due. It's worth 20% of your mark. And August the 16th is your CAT exam, your computerized adaptive test, and it's worth 20%. You must receive a minimum of 65% to be successful in this course. Here on this page are your typical guidelines, policies that are in any other 
course outline. Below here is an, um, an explanation of the assignments. And so, as I've said before, these are in-person exam dates and they are scheduled, as I've said before, you will be given a location to go to. It's a computer lab that you will be going to to write these um, entrance exams. So the HESI entrance exam is worth 15%, as I said. This is going to be your first attempt attempt in writing a computerized NCLEX style RN exam and it's based on the variety of question formats similar to the NCLEX and it actually matches the um, exam blueprint with the latest NCLEX RN test plan. And so the, this exam is going to give, um, identify your strengths and weaknesses and the important part of this exam is it's going to provide you with an individualized remediation plan, which is going to address your knowledge deficits. And this is good to know for a couple of reasons. One, it, it's good to know where your deficits are before you write the exit exam and the CAD exam and the NCLEX RN exam. But it's also very important because you will be using it to complete your study plan, which is, again, remember I said it's worth 25%. The study plan is due earlier in the semester, and the study plan journal and summary is due on the last day of the semester, and it's worth 20%. And so one of the most important elements of the HESI RN entrance exam, again, is the remediation. And you will get this personalized remediation plan. It's automatically generated once you've completed the entrance exam, and it will be in your Evolve account. And so you will use this to develop your study plan. And so students should review their remediation report to identify topics from the categories requiring additional studying. Students then will create a study plan identifying topics for review, resources used for the review, and uh, dates and times of the study plan. And so we will do another session prior to this assignment being due, a question and answer period, but you can refer to eClass to look at the study plan assignment oh. details and the study plan template, template. And you will be submitting this via Turnitin. The second part of this assignment is developing a journal and a summary. And while you're while you're stuttering studying, sorry, over the last over the while you're studying over the 12 weeks and using your study plan to study, you're going to maintain a journal of each of the study sessions. And it's this journal is going to uh, provide an overview of the activities completed, a reflection of the process of studying and um, a process of reflection on developing and reinforcing your knowledge deficit. So it's just going to be a reflection on how you were able to meet those specific study plan goals. And again, refer to eClass for the study plan journal and summary example. And we will go through this in more detail closer to the time. Your last exam is the computer adaptive test, and it's for 20% of your grade. And this exam is computer adaptive, and meaning that it is going to give you so many questions, and it's going to figure out how many questions to give you based on how well you're answering the questions. And that is exactly how the NCLEX RN exam is set up. So the minimum um, amount of questions that you could receive on the NCLEX RN is 75. For the computerized adaptive, I've seen students maybe only answer about 50 questions, and I've seen students go up to about 150 questions. And so it's very similar in its ability to adapt to how you're answering the questions. And once it's decided whether, you are, have, whether you've met the acceptability range or the almost acceptability or the minimally acceptable, it will actually stop your exam. And we can discuss this more um, as you get into the course. So these are all just similar to 4527. Do be constantly checking the e-class announcements. Uh, checking your email account regularly as well. 
um, to make sure you're familiar with the undergraduate uh, supplemental calendar, the academic integrity module, the Senate policy on academic honesty. When you are submitting your written assignments, such as the study plan and the study plan journal, you will be submitting them to Turnitin, so just to be aware of that. These are all of the policies that you should be aware of by now, being in your final semester, professional behavior policy, grading assignments is the York Year Grading Scheme, assignment submission, again, everything will be going through Turnitin, lateness penalty is here for one day late, up um, anytime up to 24 hours, there's a 5% deduction. Uh, for two days late, a 15%, three days, 30, four days, 50, and for five or more days, um, it's 100%, you will receive a zero. There are some exceptions to the lateness penalty for a variety of reasons, and so you need to um, speak to your course director. And generally, um, a 24-hour notice is required, or a 24-hour notice is required for any extensions. Lastly is missed tests. I don't recommend you missing any of the HESI or CAT exam tests. This being that you're already taking a 12 hour shift off of your placement to write this test. If you need to take another 12 hour shift off, then you need to make up two shifts. And so I just would not recommend um, that you miss any of the tests. So I believe that's the end of the course outline for 4528. If you could please bring your questions, concerns to our May 9th question and answer period, we'd be happy to answer any questions for you.